the rare shots of the ground outside the shed. Unfortunately, the ground has decided to come inside the shed. So I've got to figure out before I paint this, how to actually go through and clean it. Um, I'm thinking I'm gonna to have to give it a good pressure wash. Uh, a couple of people have told me I don't need to etch the concrete because it's a, um, a new slab, but they have said I need to mix this other crap in with the paints. Uh, I've worked out what paint I want and the color I want. I'm basically gonna go with something very, very similar to the floor. Um, just make it nice and shiny and epoxied and that sort of stuff. I've gone through and I have a power lead, which is just running through at the side for the moment just to get me power in here for the pressure washer. And I finally went and hooked up a hose, but the hose doesn't quite make it. It's already two hoses joined together. So now I'm going to have to go through and get a third hose, hook all that in, Let's see how I go with that. Okay, we've got another hose. Hopefully this will make it all the way over to the furthest corner where the power point is. Oh, look, it's following me now. Do, 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 do. Yep, that makes it quite comfortably. So we can have the pressure washer and the power. Uh, I don't have joiners for the hoses to actually make them all into one hose. So off I go to Bunnings again. Two second trip into town, pick up the pieces I need, down just to put them on the hose. Done, yay, all right, next one. Yeah, and that one's done two now. So while it's together, I've got power, I've got water, I just have to go turn the water on. <laughs> changed a few of the settings and uh, made it a bit more powerful. I've done one bay. Yay. So uh, it's come up all right. There's, uh, you can see a little, little spots like that that I've missed. Um, once it dries, I'll get a better understanding. But at this point, it's not bad. So I've walked outside to find that although that one's all right, popped out of this one because the little clips that hold it in are terrible. So off I go back into town for yet another joiner. Alrighty, that looks like what I need. And maybe one of those and some of those. Excellent. Nothing's ever simple. That wouldn't come off. I couldn't even undo that. So anyway, I've cut these and I'm about to put this on. And we're done. It's not going anywhere. Yay. The next day, I gave it a bit of time to dry. Um, there's still spots where you can clearly see there's dirt. <sighs> Little bits that didn't quite come off and bugs and bits and pieces. Overall, it's a lot better, but it's not good enough to paint. When I was using this yesterday, the pressure washer was leaking from, uh, from down here, um, which I don't know if I've done something wrong or whether it was this, but also on the side where the water goes in, it was leaking from just here as well and didn't hold pressure and all sorts of little issues. The, uh, the actual gun didn't clip in correctly on the end and shot water out the side, which you would have seen in the other video. Uh, also, whoever used to own this has gone through and lots and lots of electrical tape. So I think it's time to head in and buy a new pressure washer. So thank you very much, Eldy. We now have a nice new pressure washer. Um, it should be good enough to do what it needs to do. And um, I'll, I'll open that and check it out and see what's what. Mm. New stuff. Just a tiny bit better. Retractable hose, better looking gun. Mm. I like it. It's even got a all right, let's get it all hooked up. Here's one of the spots that um, still look bad from yesterday. <laughs> That's 
much better. It's the following morning and I underestimated the wind in this area. I left the roller doors up a tiny bit just so I could let the water dry. <laughs> and uh, yeah, that didn't end too well. So good thing I have a leaf blower. Today is the day. We've gone through, the concrete's cured, everything's ready to go, we've chosen paints, everything's perfect. It's just a simple matter of actually painting it. So yeah, let's see how this comes out. Okay, so we've gone with Ozil, we've ordered it, it's here. Uh, I've got blue gum, which is like a gray color, similar to concrete. We've got some solvent and stuff, which we have to mix in with the paint to get in all the little nooks and crannies. We've got a couple of rollers and trays, something to mix the paint. I decided I'm going to mix it in this, um, and then I'm going to sit it on that so that I can push it around. And of course, an extension arm, so we're not screwing our backs. Uh, let's see how we go. This is going to be a really long, job. long job. Oh, yes. <sighs> it's now the following morning. I've got a bit of an idea now what the finished product will look like. This is one coat in. Well, this is looking good and I can see out here that uh, there's already a couple little chickens that have been Ooh, let, let us come in let us have a walk on this lovely paint but no stay outside Shook. That, that that's my advice so uh, back to the painting <laughs> it's uh, it's looking pretty good I'm quite happy with it uh, this should stop oils and greases and whatnot and hopefully I won't scratch the crap out of it at some point with trolleys or whatever but uh, I think I'm going to call this done for this video as the floor is basically done. So next video hopefully will be sealing around all this so that mice and spiders and crap won't come in and annoy the hell out of me. Um, so I'll get started on that hopefully in the next couple of days. Thank you everyone for watching. I hope I did not bugger this up too heavily and uh, yeah, see you in the next video.